All the NMT sensors, whether mechanical or optical, feed their information to the banks of computer equipment on board, which are in turn monitored by our on-train crew. One of the primary objectives of the new measurement train is recording the track in a digital format. We're looking for three main types of defect. There's twist. This will be where the two tracks are no longer parallel and one of them has dropped slightly or raised slightly. This would give the train a, a tilting effect as it goes over. If this was allowed to carry on far enough, you would derail. Next on top of that, we're looking for a defect called cyclic top. That is where the train basically starts a, a small bouncing movement. Uh, as this happens and various trains go over it, it gets worse and it gets worse with every train that passes. Eventually you'll find that a freight train will pass over this and its suspension isn't as sophisticated as say a passenger train. What will happen then is this freight train will go over and eventually bounce off of the tracks. Last of all we're looking for gauge. Gauge is the width of the track. What you'll find is in places that things aren't quite as they should be and the track might get a little bit wide or a little bit tight. Generally what happens there is we monitor it and we'll never let that happen.